Okay, so uh, I said in the last video we were going to look more into map building and using some of the tools. Now one of the tools I want to show you very quickly is the clipper. The clipper tool is very, very useful. Um, one example of it I'm going to show you right now is these tubes. Now uh, these tubes, you know, we can only get to them up this ramp and we can't get to them in any way. We've got a nice space here for a ramp to you know go up there but you might think well how do I make a ramp out of um, a square brush you know do I need to rotate and get the angles right and everything well the answer is no um, what you need to do is very simply just use the clipping tool now I'll show you how to use the clipping tool now we're here at the moment and if we look there you can see our blue diamond denoting where we are this is our camera and that's the view of the camera we can see and we're currently pointing at this sort of area if, as I turn that you can see it turning round. Now we're going to create a ramp coming down from this area and we're going to take it to the floor and then we're going to do the exact same on this tube over here. So let's uh, get our grid view back to uh, a decent size and we'll zoom right in into the tube. Now what we'll do is we'll take the ramp, we'll start it there okay and what we'll do then is we'll drag it outwards like so now you see it's a big cube it's, it doesn't really resemble much right now you know that that ain't a ramp it's a cube that's fine don't worry about it okay we're going to drag it out a bit more and yeah that should do us now we look up here we can see that it's matching perfectly with the level of this tube and it's just going inside this brush here which doesn't really cause a problem as such now we need to turn it into a ramp so how do we go about doing that well we come up here and you see this tool here clipper we can use the X key to get to it this brings into effect the clipping tool now what we're going to do is you can see how complicated this does start getting um, but what we're going to do is we're going to look down this uh, left window bottom left and you can see I'll just uh, copy that and I'll delete it out you can see we've already got a line here going down diagonally uh, because we've got a, a ramp on the other side just here so you can actually see that ramp in this view because it's a straight through view it's not blocked by any walls or any other uh, entities in the map you just basically see a direct cut through of everything it's all it's basically just a schematic so what we'll do is we'll put that brush back in and we'll select it now we want to clip it so with our clipper tool selected we go up here to the top uh, sorry to the top left in the bottom window and we zoom in you can see we'll set the grid size down nice and low and we'll simply click there you see the number one appears now what we'll do is we'll use our right mouse button clicking and dragging clicking and dragging just to get down to the bottom and we'll see that this brush isn't big enough to um, work on that same angle so we'll we'll just drag it to there and you can see this blue line goes through it to denote where it's going to be cut now if I just press the enter key it will cut like that which is perfect now I want to do this on the other side because as you can see it just looks like a big wedge of cheese right now some type of cheese wedge so w with the clipper tool selected we can again uh, go right back up there and we can select and then we'll simply drag down to here but this time if we pressed enter we'd just be cutting more off the brush and we don't want to do that because we've already cut this area this is already perfect height and if we just press enter it will just keep chopping away at this so we need to tell it to cut the inverse of what we've selected which we do by pressing shift enter shift enter and then we can press escape shift click this bit and press backspace to delete it and as you can see we've got a nice ramp going up now you see this cork I mentioned this earlier on this just reminds us that that will need texturing I don't think cork is used in Alien Arena as it was in some of the older games but let's just texture it so we'll control shift in fact we won't control shift click we'll shift click the whole thing just to make sure the textures run right so we'll choose plate 3 and there you see we've textured that and we've textured the underside as well 
we've textured the entire brush and that matches up with the floor nicely and also matches up with the level of this right here perfect so what we need to do now is save doing all that again over there what we can do is we can select the brush with a shift click we'll do control C to copy we can press escape then control V to paste then we use these tools up here now what we want to do is we want to flip this item across now if you look down here in the left window we see that across is the Y axis so we know that that is the Y axis that we want to flip on so we'll hit Y and we Y axis flip it then we can use the translate tool to drag on a set uh, axis so we'll drag that a little bit more and to make sure we can we can line it up in here but if we want to line it up perfectly we'll just uh, move our axis over here and we'll just keep dragging until we touch perfectly there so now this ramp comes right down to the floor and goes up to the top and we can do any little tweaks that we feel we need to and you can see that then two ramps are identical almost obviously what you want to do is you want to make a note of you know whereabouts in the map you've actually placed the brush and make sure that it's the same on the other side you know to get it perfect so this might not be 100 percent perfect but it looks good enough for me right now during this phase you may want to go through and clean bits up later but that's using the clipper tool which you know is is very very useful you can clip on more than three planes but if if you can think in that in that many dimensions at once you're a genius I've never really managed to clip a brush in th using three points before it's something that I haven't tried doing I didn't see any point to try doing it but what we're going to look at very shortly is uh, these textures things like this now in the map that will display as a as a light beam almost you know it'll sort of give the effect of the light fading out and we'll, sh we'll talk about how they work a little bit later on and we'll also talk about what all these little blue boxes and pink boxes and things like that are we'll talk about them in the entities video now very quickly I will note you see the slime here we were talking about the surface inspector before if we shift click that and press the S key it will show us that we've got it set to warp so it looks like it's flowing and we've also got it set to slime so the slime will actually injure people you can set hurt values and and things on brushes we can see that goes right the way under there so there's no way to get out so that's basically a quick look at the clipping tool and uh, the surface inspector once again thanks for watching